It's a night that will go down as one of the greatest in team history. A night when one of the greatest of all time laced them up again. But the weeks leading up to the return of 66 were just as special, if you were lucky enough to know. I was just on the road somewhere and driving and I got a phone call from him and just said, hey, I need, uh, need somebody to work me out. And I didn't really ask him any questions about it. I go, what's your timeline? What are you looking to do? And, and he, he told me, he said, I want to be ready by, you know, hopefully late November, December kind of thing. And that's all I went off of. So Lemieux and Caulfield went to work at Neville Island. And while very few knew what was coming, there was still reason to be cautious. We skated always early in the morning on that, you know, it was some cold mornings because it was that rink that's kind of half out of the three they had out there. And a few times people come up and saw Mario skating. I think they were wondering what was going on. But at the same time, coming up not in the, too far in the future was a Penguin alumni game. So I think if anybody had any questions, they, they might have mentioned that, hey, he's just getting prepared to play an alumni game. As 66 got closer to game shape, he decided to let a few people in on his master plan. But again, mum was the word. Mario tipped us up about a week in advance before it came out. It was the, it was the toughest secret of all to keep, not just from a professional standpoint. You wanted to tell people. I mean, you were so excited by this, this news. It, it was difficult not letting it get out. But they had to actually go through some processes with the NHL to make sure in the bylaws that an owner could play. It did not take long for word to spread that something was up. And while the media did their best to turn up the heat, the Penguins put out the fires. There was no inkling that this was going to happen, that nobody gra grasped onto it. So nobody, even people who heard it, didn't, didn't really hear it. So we were, we were, we were lucky. That we, it, was, it was almost such an absurd concept that, that it, it, it was hard to leak in, in that regard. The silence was broken on December 11th. Mario was coming back, and many could not hold back their excitement. Mario returns to the locker room tomorrow, but he's sitting next to you. <laughs> Is that kind of nice? Oh, you know, it's definitely nice, uh, you know, the, uh, at least I know how much money I'm going to make for next year, so uh, I can tell you one thing, if I don't come tomorrow, nobody even going to know. <laughs> I might skip the practice tomorrow. <laughs> a few days later, Mario made his presence known. It was no longer a secret. 66 was back, and it was like he never left.